Okay, Tiger, you are famous for nine windows, nine shots. I'm gonna score that pretty damn good. Definitely giving myself that one. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're out there working on your game, if you'd like this channel for all the reasons of the equipment, some of the tips, and yeah, some of the fun stuff, all brilliant. But remember, I've talked to you a lot about how you can actually get better. Knowing all this about golf equipment is fantastic, but when we practice, we wanna practice with purpose if we can. I always put down the full swing. I always try and put down the tour aim to give me that alignment piece. It is massive. But one of the things you've seen, hopefully in these videos, is that I've got clipped on the side of my hat. It's a data collection tool where you input your data and it gives you feedback on you as a golfer. And it's gonna tell you where you can improve and what to work on. But it's more than that. If you get into the app itself and you go add practice, and this is something I'd suggest you do if you're basing your game off of the data, you're seeing the strength, you're seeing the weaknesses. This particular drill, the famous Tiger Woods nine windows, that's what I'm gonna have a go at today. If you get into approach, you can see it in here, and down the bottom, you've got the nine window drill. Okay, Tiger, you are famous for nine windows, nine shots. Well, it's, it's basically, it's the three different trajectories, you know, it's high, medium, low. And then from there, it's about whether you're gonna cut them or draw them. Yeah. And so those are your nine windows. Fantastic. Always a privilege. Great to see. Thank you, brother. This is how it's gonna work. Start practice. It's got the time up there today already. It's got the location. In we go, and you can select where you want to start. So, me, it's got mid draw off the right. Let's get straight into this. So mid draws come straight up. Like I say, we've gone through our practice session. I've got six iron in my approach play. You can actually notice here, which I love, the turf mark on the sole is pretty good. Anyone out there who's checking their loft and lies, when that comes up and it's consistent like that, it means you're in good shape. These divots were to a slightly different target. Divot depths are good, so we're in a good place. If you do this drill, you don't need to put down tour aim. I'm going to, to illustrate to you, in addition to the shot tracer, but also to give me a little bit of help here. So it wants a mid draw that starts out right. Tiger famously used to go through this drill every round before he'd go and play. So mid flight, drawing off the blue flag, turning back towards our green target out there. Let's see how we do. I'm gonna score that pretty damn good. Mid flight, mid draw. We'll get into it, and this is gonna help for your shot quality score on Clipped. It's gonna help you as a player. So correct shape, click that box, we move on. Then it goes high and straight. So you can see how easy this is. You mix it up all the time. And like I say, it's gonna build a shot quality number for you, a live look at you, which you can then compare to Colin Morikawa and other best golfers in the world. Now, I pick Colin because his approach game is excellent from this yardage. It's a live look linked with the PGA Tour, and you can see that his numbers are fantastic. Tour average is 100. Anytime you get up over that, it means you're actually playing well. So we're going for straight golf shot. I've moved the ball position further forward. I'm gonna type, tilt my spine back a little bit. And now I'm not really trying to think about anything other than just hitting a cruisy straight golf shot that goes nice and high. Pretty good, but it cut a little for me. So I'm gonna actually give myself wrong shape for that one and move on. So now it wants low draw. This one should be a bit easier for me. Ball position move back, handle forward in line with left pocket, weight forward, see the golf shot, treat it like the golf course as well. If you can come back here and see it first, didn't really do that on the straight one. Let's see if I can do it on this one. Back, nice and low, and drawing. Got the low, didn't get the shape. Wrong shape. So I'm gonna be harsh with myself here. Mid straight. Pretty good. Give yourself correct shape, and notice how I locked in on that one. Next shot, mid fade. So it's gonna test you, and that's why I like it. It's pushing your practice to be 
a little bit more responsible. It's giving you a reason for it. There's a control box out there I can see. I just want to fade this one, so I'm going to aim a little left, move it round. Good flight, wrong shape. High draw. Seem to have the draws today, so we've got a bit of confidence in this. Ball position forward, aim it nice and far right, get lost in the target. Yeah, that's easy. Correct shape, move on. Low fade, often a tricky shot because you've got a mix of the two. I noticed before I didn't quite hold the blade open. Now I'm going to hold it a bit more. Ball position back. See the golf shot. Feel it. Not bad, I'll give it me. High fade. Okay, this one's got to be much higher than that. Ball position again. Got the height, didn't get the fade. Low stinger. So you can see here we're building up a picture. Now I've worked through this quickly. I'm probably scoring half on here, so I'm not loving it. But you're really going to improve if you make your practice count. Low stinger. See if I can actually take this tour aim stick out the ground. definitely giving myself that one you can tell i grew up on those uk shores so as you come through here finish and save practice it's giving me eight out of nine last month's pb was a similar score i've hit a few bad ones i've hit a few good ones but that now goes into your nine window drill back to practice drills if your approach play is needed then go there Otherwise, potting around the green, off the tee, but there's multiple, multiple exercises you can get into within the Clipped app that all help you then when it comes to painting your picture as a golfer and getting a live view of yourself as a player. And if we launch Clipped, that will then go into my activity feed. It will record that on this day, I did the nine window drill, five out of nine today, eight out of nine last time. So getting a little worse, but at least I've got a feel for what I'm trying to do. Why would you guess what you can measure? Why wouldn't you track your practice? Why wouldn't you make it count? It's all in there. The description below is in there with these guys. I'm a big believer in it. That's why I wear it on the side of my hat. That's why I'm banging it in the description. Learn more about your game. It's gonna help you with all your club choices, your equipment choices, your fitter choices, and what you're gonna work on. Check it out.